What's going on guys? Back with another Disney video. I haven't posted a lot of Paper Mario content, but you know, that's just for the sheer fact of, because it's fun, you know? Pretty much any time that I play that game, I'm recording it, so, and I get about one video up a day, sometimes two, you know, it's just whatever. It's fun, man. Even though I only have 20, what, two subscribers? This is fun, man, just making videos, having people watch them, it's fun. Anyway, Disney video, not Paper Mario. And in this video, um, we're going to talk about what the best Epcot hotel is. Now, there are actually many of these to choose from, probably more than the uh, Magic Kingdom, just because there's more down by Epcot, because Magic Kingdom is more in the upper level of the uh, Disney World. And then there's kind of a big gap right in the middle where, where there isn't really much and then there are, you know, not much hotels, and then a lot of them down at the bottom are by uh, Epcot and whatnot. And excuse the lighting in here, I'm in my dad's uh, recording studio here, he has his own radio show. Uh, and, I don't know, it's just weird lighting in every single one of my videos. You know, Paper Mario's like that, if you've been watching those, please go watch those. Those are great videos, by the way, i got some great content on there, I feel like. I mean, I should start calling myself, you know, you know, low quality great videos or something something weird like that um anyway so the best epcot hotel there's a lot just kind of in a little strip right down here and i mean i i could probably name them all off you got port orleans i'm pretty sure caribbean beach is down there um obviously you got the movies music all-star pop century uh you got art of animation you got boardwalk Swan and Dolphin, Yacht and Beach. I mean, there's a ton of them. I think I just named all of them right there. But in a previous video, you saw me name the uh, the best Magic Kingdom hotel to stay at, which I will put a link right up here for y'all. Right up here. That was pretty sweet. That's going to be like, right when I put it up there. Oh, I'm fly. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm real jazzed up right now. So... The best Epcot hotel to stay at. Well, that's that's kind of the personal preference, you know. Everything's personal preference at Disney World. I say that all the time. It's all it's all about personal preference. Um, so, if you're looking to spend a little money, you could stay at you know a Boardwalk, a Swan and Dolphin, a Beach or Yacht Club, and if you want to. If you want to still have the Disney magical experience and stay at a stay at a Disney resort, you can go stay at a you know Music All Star. Th those are called value resorts, and also Pop Century falls in that category. I wouldn't say Art of Animation falls in there because that's that's on the higher end of, of those kind of resorts. That's more of a moderate to me. But when when you look at the different types of hotels there, they they tend to differ in a lot of ways. So it's hard to say. I mean, it's 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 kind of easy to pinpoint out which which the best ones are at Epcot because Magic Kingdom ones, they're all pretty high end. You know, they're they you know Grand Floridian, Polynesian, Temporary. You know, those kind of hotels are are, are all you know uh, deluxe resorts. So. They're, they're all in the high-end, high price range, but, but you get what you pay for most of the time. And the value resorts, and like I said, you get what you pay for most of the time. And the value resorts, um, I feel you get a lot for, for the amount of money you pay. Yes, there's some drawbacks, and you know, rooms aren't as nice sometimes, but they, they, uh, they give you what you need. Um, you get, I mean, geez, excuse me. I mean, geez, you get, you get your room, cheap room at that. I mean, we would sometimes get two rooms and just have them connecting, you know. Um, not that I'm better than anybody else or anything. We, we would fit fine in one room. But, you know, they got nice rooms. You get a bathroom in there. Um, you get a food court. I feel the food court is a luxury to have at these uh, resorts because you get food anytime you want 
Um, you get drinks anytime you want. And, you know, there's always a place to go sit down there and just relax, stay in the air conditioning. You got TV there, or, I mean, and, and like my previous video about the refillable drink mugs, which I'll put right down here. Um, you know, it's it, it's a luxury to have. I mean, why, why, why wouldn't you want to be um, able to have all this food here and stuff? And sure, at the deluxe resorts, you have, uh, you know, I, I know at the Grand Floridian, they have what's what's named the uh, Gasparilla Grill, which is kind of the same concept, but it's it's not as big. And yes, it can get crowded there sometimes. You can waste a lot of time. But uh, in reality, I feel those are the food courts at the value resorts are a great tool to have. And you get, you know, busing transportation to every single park. You don't have to stop anywhere or anything. Um, obviously, Magic Kingdom ones will take longer to get to than Epcot ones. But still now the good thing about the uh i i but i i will tell you that i cannot tell you much about the uh the moderate resorts such as the caribbean and the port orleans because i've never stayed there before i i don't know I've, i have you know one of my friends one of my sister's friends that have and stayed there countless number of times. I mean, they love that. They they prefer that most of the time. And you know, I just never. We've never stayed there before. We've always kind of had preferences in the hotels. Those are the only hotels I've never stayed at. There's those in the, the Polynesian. I really want to say the Polynesian. But anyway, uh, the Bali Resorts do give you some uh, some good um, points to them as you know, probably better service, which is a plus. Um, nicer rooms, easier access to a certain park most of the time, and it's just overall more nice than the other hotels. Because like I said, most of the time you get what you pay for. And these, these higher end hotels um, do give you a lot for the amount of money you spend. I mean, you might spend you know anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars a night versus you know a hundred to two hundred a night at the value resorts but that's a way that you can really get your your Disney experience I mean those are sometimes once in a lifetime things that you go stay in those hotels and you just get that that great feeling like wow this is awesome and you want to do it every time um, but that still doesn't answer the question of what is the best Epcot hotel hmm you know this isn't as easy of a decision as Magic Kingdom, because there was, you know, four hotels. So, right, four, yeah. I think it was four. Well, you'll, you'll find out when you watch that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, so, I would have to say, in terms of having everything that you would need for a fair price, I, I mean, some, some people may not like it, but I'd have to say the value resorts all of them, especially Art of Animation. Art of Animation is great, which I'll do a, a video on that, you know, room layout and all that. I mean, I, I, mean, I feel I have to, it's a, it's a great new hotel. But those value resorts are, are great. I mean, they, they give you everything you need and they, they have the food court, which I love. And to me, that's like, that's like Disney right there. We've stayed at those so many times because there's because they're cheap and they give you what you want and you still get transporta free transportation to the park. You don't got to rent a car or anything or, or have to stop off at one stop. Or sure, you get the occasional, you know, got to wait forever for a bus, but that's the price you pay sometimes. And yeah, so I think the value resorts are the best hotels you can stay at in the Epcot area. And that's that's just my opinion. Um, the, the deluxe resorts, yes, they do have easier access to the park but they don't have all of the amenities that uh, all, all the extra things that uh, the value resorts bring sure they have you know boats and they got entertainment out there they got some nice restaurants but you can always uh, either take a taxi to the boardwalk or you can go to a park go to Epcot, frankly, and walk all the way to the back, you know, in the secret entrance. Whew, that's another link right there, right over here. 
So man, we got bam, bam, bam right there. And the secret entrance in the back. So, or heck, you, you could even go to Epcot and take a bus to Boardwalk. You know, go way in the Boardwalk area. So there's, there's many ways you can do that. But again, my opinion, Valley Resorts takes the cake for best Epcot Resorts. So thank you for watching this long video, a lot longer than I normally do. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to comment so you can see future videos of what you want to see. Thank you for watching.